Hi everyone, it's Cars Guy Do It Yourself. Today we're going to show you how we rebuild front brake caliper from VW Passat. But same calipers you can find in many Audi, Skoda and Seat models. I will show you step by step how we handle with it. So stay with us. As you can see the caliper is already out of the vehicle and the reason why we are doing that is that rubber dust cover. It's been damaged. We will not only replace that cover, but we will also clean the caliper, paint it, and then we will install all new parts from the repair kit. Paint that we will use is specially for brake calipers. It doesn't need any primer or even clear coats after. Also it's resistance to temperatures up to 260 Celsius degrees and ensures smooth and hard surface. Repair kit contain new brake piston, new dust cover, set of bleeder valves, new seal for piston and two rubber bushes for guide pins, new back caps for them, tube of grease and the last thing breeder valve cap. Okay, time for disassemble. We will start from bleeder valve. If you won't remove it or it gets broken, our work can be just wasted. Let's try to remove it first. Eleven millimeter socket and ratchet. Okay, no way, it won't move. First solution, take a hammer and tap it straight on bleeder valve. Usually it works. If not, we have another solution, soldering torch. Before we start heat, we have to remove that rubber bushing, because it can be melted. Ok, done. Now we can heat surface around bleeder valve. Caliper is cast iron, so heat won't damage it. Let's give it another try. Great, that works for me, bleeder is out. Now we can remove that metal bracket, 10mm socket and let's unscrew it. Good, another one is out. Time for second rubber bushing. Take flathead screwdriver and push it out, like so. Last and the most important thing, the piston. We have to take it out in that direction. We can try it with vice grip pliers. But it doesn't make sense. Better way is to push it out with compressed air. Screw it back breather valve just for a moment. That piece of plywood is to prevent piston flyaway and that piece of cloth works as a dumper. Now put the air bomb gun to second hole and gently blow it. Yep, that sound means that the piston is out. Now we can remove it rest of the way. Oh, and the bleeder valve. Remove dust cover and that inner piston seal. Done, perfect. I was planning to clean it with wire brush and sandpaper, 
but it will take ages. Instead, we will sand it with sandblasting gun and then we will paint it. We have to cover all important holes with threads over here. And of course, main piston hole. Let's do it. I will use standard masking tape, like so. For piston hole we need to increase the volume so we will use some cloth and masking tape. And it's done. Okay, have a quick look on our sandblasting box. Okay, let's do it. Nice, it looks way better than before. We can remove masking tape and wash caliper with brake cleaner to remove rest of the dirt and sand. And then dry it with compressed air. Before we paint it, we need to cover all important holes again, with the masking tape of course. For that piston hole we will use cardboard, cut it a little bit wider than piston, then press it in. It will fit nice and tidy. Now we can cover brake line hole. We won't paint it around because there will be fitted new copper washer. Then secure threads for bracket and bleeder valve. Using acetone to grease the surface, like so. And it's ready to paint. I follow the instruction on the can, well shake before use, then apply three layers with the time intervals, 10 minutes from each one. And let them dry for 12 hours. Wow, look at this, it looks beautiful, it looks amazing. Let's remove the masking tape and the cardboard and we are ready to install all new parts. First will be piston seal, moisten well with grease from that white tube, like so, and fit it inside in that second groove. Lubricate the piston and try to push it in to spread the grease inside. Okay, nice fit. We can remove it, but we can grab it only on surface after that groove.
now we have to lubricate the dust cover and try to fit it on place, like so. Okay, nice and easy. Then we can fit the cover on piston, like that. And lubricate edge of the piston. First, fit the rubber cover, make sure the dust cover fits in the whole groove inside the caliper. It's better to start from the bottom edge, then press it in the top one, if not, then align it again. When we are sure that the rubber cover is in the right position, we can press the piston into the caliper. Like so, and it should go nice and smooth. Last inspection, quick look around, and now I'm sure that the cover adheres well. We can install rubber bushes for the guide pins. First moisten it with grease, then press it in, like so. One is in. Now do the same thing with the second one. Moisten and press it in. Don't forget to put caps on place, we don't want to lose them. We can screw in bleeder valve, but first we have to choose the right one. So, the one in the middle will fit for sure. And of course, bleeder cap. Last thing is the hose bracket. Set it in right position and tighten the bolt. Look at this beauty, we really made it and I have to say it was really easy and pleasure to do it. Have a look how it was before comparing to that moment, huge difference. If you like it thumbs up and subscribe, job done, thanks for watching.